taking it easy. Right, right. Hello? Hey. hey uh, need you to come down to the, uh, to the Cypress Forge, the smelter. All right? Can you ping me? I've been there a couple times, but I don't remember how to get there. Uh, yeah, what's your ping? 110. All right. Are you, you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just get over here. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Where? Uh, I don't know. They're going to ping me right now. Can you just drop me off at a car? I'll just lock it, whatever. Sure. I did not like, I did not like the sound of that. Yeah. Hey, put, 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 uh, put like a, you know, your best outfit on, okay? Hello? Uh, okay. Yeah, don't worry. Everything's gonna be good. Okay. I need you to get here. All, All right. right. Bye. All right. I, I should not go shopping. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have anxiety. <laughs> yeah? Where are you? Well, well, you told me to go change. I was going to put heels on because I was wearing, like, boots. But I'll just wear what I'm wearing then. Yeah, I mean, if you look good, then that's that's fine. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's okay. We just got to we gotta, we gotta do this quick. Okay, you're freaking me out. Okay, okay. Uh, right, it's, uh, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Listen, I, I, I would be blinking if it's fucking code red, all right? Don't worry about it. Fine. Okay. Okay, I, I'll be there in like two minutes. I was um, in Rockford. Also, you, you, if you think I'm in danger, you gotta like, you know, give me yes or no, yes or no questions. You know what I mean? Well, I would I think your tone would be a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. All right, okay, all He's sacrificing me to the wolves, bro. Alright, come here. Mm Good like that. You look good like that. Okay. Sound worried. Relax. What the fuck is happening? Halloween, what do you mean Halloween? Uh. Queenie, welcome. Fucking Vito, Vito, what the fuck are you doing, Vito? What the fuck, man? Give me, give me, just, uh, just give me a second. Queenie. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome to the Forge of Cypress. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. 
You are ready. You are. Over the last couple of months, um, you and I have been working very closely together. In uh, a lot of different ways. Primarily, I've been preparing you for this moment. Actually. As of this moment, I would like to, with the blessing of the Dons to my left, officially promote you to be my enforcer for our sub -group. Comes with a lot of responsibility, but essentially, you're going to be my right-hand woman. You're going to be able to replace me in every capacity. You are more than capable. You are ready, and you deserve this position. And quite frankly, I believe, personally, this is your first step up the ladder. give you this bullet which will represent your role as my enforcer but it will also represent the price to pay if things were to go south with you oh, that bullet shit. if things were to go south with you be delivered to you with the barrel of a gun you understand? I understand. Well, congratulations. You are my enforcer. I didn't know so. Um. Thank you. Uh, I did not know what I was walking into right now. This this entire setting, this is this is insane to have overall. You guys are all very inspiring and the faith you guys have in my abilities is what keeps me inspired and thriving for more. And some people say nothing is worth the risk, but for me this crew is worth it all. So thank you for the opportunity and for the trust that you've placed in me. Listen, Queenie, uh, mm -hmm. this is one of the, uh, you know, uh, first official ranks, aside from, obviously, Captain, that we've introduced uh, to the crew. Uh, you've been Vito's uh, pick, essentially, since day one. So just remember, you are, you, your actions are a reflection of Vito's actions. Both your actions are reflections of ours. Okay? So operate that way. Understood. Uh, you know, the, the, obviously, the pressure uh, gets turned up. We expect more out of you. We expect you to carry yourself as an enforcer. And to understand that, uh, you know, your decisions, the things you do have more weight. And uh, the people around you are, gonna, are going to expect that as well and see that as well. Okay. I understand. You're, you, you now help Vito build the best crew you guys can build. Okay. I feel like All that's right. always kind of been what he's been doing as well. So, uh, I look forward to to helping even more. All right. Well, congratulations, Vito. Congratulations. Uh, both of you, get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Gracias. Be sure to fill in your crew. Yes, sir. The fuck was that? That felt like a proposal. With the blessing of all of you guys standing here. No, the, the, the fuck it is? The, the. Was unexpected. Good, that was the idea. You have that much faith in me? 
I always have. Since the beginning. That's the right answer. Thank you. Not only for this, but just everything in general. I feel like a lot of people don't see you for who you are and who you are to everybody. Uh, I see the way each captain moves all the time and, and you specifically are meant for, for being a leader. And I have my own qualities and qualities that I've always had, but you magnify them by a lot. And every time we're doing things or having conversations, I, I, I look for you for guidance a lot, not just because of you already having been my captain, but because of just the way you carry yourself. I want some of those qualities to rub off on me, and I feel like they have in a good way. I'm not saying you're perfect, because no one is. But just continue to do what you're doing, and I look forward to hopefully one day being able to be in the same shoes as you one day. Appreciate the kind words. You already are. Al. What do you mean? I would not bring anybody into that meeting that was just that just took place. I, I, I would not bring anybody into that position that you are in now, unless you were fully capable and one hundred percent ready to do everything that I do and much more. You are ready. My qualities are not. You, on your own, are ready. I guess what I'm saying is... The only reason I'm ready is because of... What I've learned from you as well. As well as Luciano. You, you two have been two of the people that I have been... Very... Kind of leaning on for, for guidance and, and mentorship mentorship these past couple of weeks or months and although i am very i have certain qualities in me that i've always had and i i feel like because of you guys it, it's gotten me to the place that i am right now and just because this happened right now doesn't mean that that's going to change anything in me at all. I've always been the way I am. I'm going to continue to be that way. I certainly Whether hope it, so. Yeah, it kind of fuels me even more if I'm being honest. For me, things like rank, I, I respect rank uh, amongst people in the crew. But it's nothing that ever was something that I... I had on my mind the entire time that I wanted you know I, I was just putting my head down doing my work doing what I needed to do for the crew and if anything happened then it happened right but I feel like something that this crew is really good at is is seeing people's potential listening to what people want and and what their goals are and, and achieve like help, helping them achieve it doesn't always have to be quick but it, it's just I've always known I, I found my place and I, I liked where I was and I, it just continues to prove it to myself that this this is where I belong and where I always belong. And I wasn't lying when I told you and what I told them that for me this this crew is worth it for me like entirely like a hundred percent. I feel like not everybody is always a hundred percent in because there's always a little a little bit of it that they kind of share for themselves. They want something for themselves. And for me, there's never been anything like that. Well, like I said back there, I think this is the first step for you and, um, I guess we could call it your career with Cyprus. 
there's still a lot of work to be done with the crew that you and I have been putting together and getting into shape over the last few months. Yeah. There will be a lot more uh, work after that as well, so. Okay. It's good that you have that mindset. Keep it up. Thank you. Is this why you wanted me around today? Yep. <laughs> so not numbers. No. Not only numbers, at least. <laughs> not only numbers. You know, at the beginning of your speech sounded an awful lot like something else. I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? Wait, what did it sound like? I would like to ask for you guys' blessing, is what I heard originally. Wait, what? <laughs> you you told them that, that you were looking for their blessing. Oh, no, no, no. I, I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, when you hear someone be like, oh, I, I'd like the, your blessing for this, is just, you know, and you like... Uh... I said, with their blessing. Yeah, but still, uh, with that, that, those words. <laughs> Okay, that, that's that's not what I... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like, what am I supposed to say? Yes, I do? Like... <laughs> and then you said, will you be my enforcer or something? Like... <laughs> that's crazy. That is crazy. What? I never said yes. Because it wasn't really a question. That is true, actually. And mm -hmm. I like that even more. 